what's going on YouTube my name is Crips and today I'm bringing you some Crisis 2 gameplay this is actually my first game I had on the uh, game first game on the game yeah and it's on Pier 17 I'm using the scar with the holo hologram I think um, yes scar with the hologram I don't think there's any other attachments that you get from the start so yeah Crisis 2 is one of the best games I think I've played in a very very long time uh, since Bad Company 2 in, I've, I spent I think on my first kind of shift on it I spent about 8 hours or something playing it and then the next day you know another 8 hours on top of that it's a very very good game I've not touched the single player yet but apparently the single player is supposed to be brilliant as well so I can't wait to go through that. I think I might do a single player guide on it uh, for the Super Soldier difficulty uh, when I unlock the uh, Super Soldier difficulty after doing it on Veteran. I don't think I'll show the Veteran playthrough but I'll, I think I'm going to record the Super Soldier so I know people uh, can struggle on uh, campaigns and stuff so if I can help I will try. So if you're not familiar with Crisis 2, um, it's, it's a uh, first person shooter, uh, it was originally on the PC, the first Crisis, and basically you have this thing called a nano suit, which you can use for invisibility, like right there, and there's, uh, that's using the right bumper, and there's another on the left bumper, you go into like an armour sort of mode where you can't move as fast, but you can take more bullet damage or more grenade damage or what have you so you've got to pay attention to your energy bar in the bottom right hand corner of the screen it goes down when you're using cloak, when you're using armour when you're sprinting, when you're jumping so you've got to pay attention to it all the time and keep it as high as possible for when you come into contact with someone there's different like perk systems similar to Call of Duty you know you get three perks I think this one I'm using like Dead Silence or Covert Ops thing it's called so you can't hear your footsteps. Um, like an air stomp kind of move where you can jump in the air and slam the ground and kill enemies around you. That's pretty cool to use. And I'm not sure what my third perk is. You'll probably see it when I die. Um, so yeah, uh, this, this is definitely worth picking up. Uh, try and pick up a limited edition if you can because the limited edition is the same price as a standard edition so there's no point not trying to pick up a limited one you see my third, kill, uh, third perk in a second side pack, that basically side pack is um, like kind of you get an extra clip, I don't think it's as good as bandolier where you get a lot more ammo, I think it's just one extra clip, I'm not sure about that though. Um, yeah, There's loads of perks, loads of or, you know, armor modules on this game. So there's a lot of customization, especially with the guns as well, you can have different sights on the guns, you can have different underbarrels, like you know you can have your grenade launcher, your underbarrel shotgun, I've got a hologram on this one, I don't think I use the hologram. Things like that, stealth assassination, those are brilliant to do. Um, so if you are familiar with Crisis um, and you've played the beta version but you've not picked up the single, uh, sorry, the full retail version because you weren't sure of the beta, they've definitely improved things uh, in order of balance to this game. Uh, they like the uh, beatdown system on the old when you first did it was um, you know, a one hit beat down and people just running at you and beating you down doing nothing else and it was really stupid too easy to kill people in melee they've changed that now so it's at least a two hit beat down to kill people so that's really good um, yeah and base with the stealth as well if you shoot or do um, throw a grenade or beat down whilst you're still cloaked um, you'll lose all your energy, like you kind of EMP yourself. So you've basically got a time um, when you're decloaking, when you're at an enemy. 
yeah, so that, they've done it really well. Um, the only thing that's a little bit underbalanced, I think, are the shotguns in this game. I've not tried the first shotgun, but I know the uh, Marshall, which is the second shotgun you get, it's, it's a little bit underpowered. I'd like it to be a little bit more powerful. Um, not too m much more powerful, but the, uh, it's a little bit inconsistent. Like sometimes you'll one hit people from quite a distance, other times you'll you know you'll get a hit marker, and it'll, they'll take you know four shotgun shells before they go down, and it it can be a, a little bit annoying it, against other weapons like the scar. The scar is a, a beast of a gun. So what you notice is when I kill people, they'll drop a little kind of blue looking light sort of thing. Basically that's their dog tag, and what that is is. Um, you collect those, and when you get three of those, you get, you know, your radar, like UAV sort of thing, that sweeps. And when, if you collect five of those, I think on this map you get an orbital strike. Yep, yeah, right there, I'll bring that up, I think, now. And you can see where people are, you put it down. Kind of like a, you know, standard airstrike or napalm strike. Um, and then... At 7, you get a Seth airstrike, I think it's called, but it's actually not an airstrike, it's like um, an attack helicopter that flies around the map killing people. I think mine actually kills anybody on this game, but they are very deadly. I've, I've had a couple more, and they can just destroy people. Uh, kill streaks, they're not customizable, but they do change from map to map, so it's, it's really clever. Um, so no one has, you know, ridiculous kill streaks like an AC-130 in the air, and you're no, you're using a UAV, counter UAV, and stuff like that. So the kill streaks are all balanced. And they're all done really well. Um, yeah. Uh, cloak guy just killed me. And now I, a new game, and I have no idea what to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely recommend picking up this game. It is is really good fun. Um, definitely, definitely worth it. This is my second take of this commentary. I said some other stuff in my first take, and I can't remember what I said. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Well, there's not much more to this um, video now, anyway. So I think. I'm just going to uh, leave the rest of the video with you guys uh, without the commentary so you can see how it all is. <coughs> so yeah, um, I I think my final score is 19-4, and four, not too bad for my first game. Oh yeah, that's I remember another thing I wanted to say. If you are good at games, you it will definitely show on this. The better player will absolutely destroy people on this game. There's no... This is not. This game is not noob friendly in any way whatsoever. If you, even the grenade launch, you know, you can take hits with the grenade launch if you just go into maximum armor. There's a rocket which is like awesome, but it's not something that you can like spam and pour out or anything in that way. It's mainly used to take out the uh, Seth gunship. So yeah, the def I mean, I'm sitting at I think I think something like a ten win ratio. And uh, a two point something KD, I don't know at the moment. But it is the better player will definitely uh, do well on this game. So if you're fed up of uh, random crap or, you know, random bullshit, there's, there's very little on this game. You're not going to get it. So it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Alright then, I'll leave the rest of the video with you guys now so um final score 19 and 4 hope you enjoyed it and i will speak to you some other time hopefully on another crisis playthrough playthrough gameplay there peace Teeth, gentlemen, by the skin of your teeth.